even broadcasting on Live Zone Television. So I'm so excited about that. But now, everybody, I'm so excited because I have the maestro himself. Now, I don't think people really, really, really appreciate who this man is because I would say he is like a hidden jewel, okay? Um, Mr. Roger Gene, everybody, come on now, is in the building. And I got to say, I, Doc, you looking, you looking quite, quite very dapper. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Thank you for coming and saying that you will be on to celebrate with us. You know, so many people are watching all around the world right now. Can you tell everybody who is Roger Gene? I'm just an ordinary person who loves the Lord. Uh, I've been saved since 1992. I've been playing before. And it's so amazing how God will preserve you in ministry to prepare you for ministry. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> and uh, I've had the opportunity to serve in the Pilgrim Church uh, under the leadership of Archbishop Roy Brown, where we would uh, do big top tents yes. and uh, Christmas broadcast. I would do the music for that. I'm always the behind-the-scenes guy. <laughs> and, you know, and recently the Lord laid in my heart so that the world can hear. Wow. And uh, I'm just honored to share this with you. And I will follow you on um, IG, Instagram, y'all, okay? I will follow him on Instagram, and I will see you put little little clips up, and you play. First of all, you, all right, you're anointed, but you're very skilled. Because sometimes people say, okay, you know, some people will, you know, we, we will have one extreme to another extreme. I just want the anointing, the anointing, that's great. But you want to hear somebody that got some skill too, right? All right, because otherwise it ain't nothing but a joyful noise. Uh, <laughs> oh, Amen. okay, no pun intended. But, uh, you know, you, you don't want just a joyful noise that only God can appreciate, but you also want skill too, not only in singing but also in playing. All right, uh, so, but you are very, 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 very skilled. Now, when did you start playing the piano and even the organ? You could play that as well, but when, when did you begin? Well, I started uh, at the age of nine. Mm -hmm. I started playing the drums. Wow. Yes. And then from the drums, uh, the next year, I found a guitar in the garbage can and uh, put a little one string in there and ended up playing the bass. And then later on that year, I got stuck on the keys. So, yeah, it was a, a really interesting journey. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, did you, let me ask you this. Were you a self-taught musician or did you go to school? Did you have any type of... Um, learning with it, you know, how, how was it? Self-taught. Self-taught. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, everybody, I can't wait till he plays because y'all going to feel the glory, okay? But, you know, with that, now you have this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful album that he got out now, right, everybody? Hymns that glorify him. Did, I'm going to say it again. Hymns that glorify him. Now, what was the inspiration behind doing this? Years of serving again under Archbishop Roy Brown, I've learned to appreciate him because he was a hymn lover, hymn lover, and uh, through him I learned how to play hymns correctly. Wow! Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Shout out to playing the hymns correctly. Yes, playing, playing it correctly, but he would always say, you know, we thank God for the praise and worship songs, and those are good, but hymns glorify Him. Wow! And and it's true because. You know, we have a lot of hooks in a lot of worship and praise songs, but the verses of hymns make you think. Yeah. Why do I do what I do? Why do I praise? Why do I lift him up? Why do I even live for him? And that's where you have those verses that will uh, really glorify the choruses of these grand hymns, which makes it what it is. And the purpose of this album is to uh, restore the appreciation of a hymn, regardless of genre. Yeah, you know, because, you know, a lot of people, you know, especially younger generation they don't really know him so all we know is more of a of the contemporary style of worship you know but i do i do concur with you a lot of the hymns and even in my church we'll sing them and he said we'll sing all six verses you be like i didn't even know that song had a verse you know because all we're used to is the chorus because some you know but to st but to hear the mindset of a lot of these writers when they wrote it they were theologically right 
how they, they made sure they were in the book. All right, in the book. You know, um, so I, I do appreciate the hymns. I appreciate all six verses. Sometimes it be eight, and they're long, but they're right. But they're right, but they're right. But I love it, hymns that glorify him. So are there any people that work with you to, to make this body of work? Uh, no, I actually did everything myself. Did you hear what he just said? I'm done. You just did everything. You, you actually did everything yourself. I produced the whole album myself. And, and, and the miracle behind this is, you know, the Lord led me to put this together. And in less than a month, completed this album. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what would usually take six months to complete, the Lord allowed me to complete all 11 songs. 11. <laughs> in, in a month's time. And this is how I know that the hand of the, hand of the Lord was upon this album. <laughs> now you got hymns on here. All hail the power. Yes. Higher ground. Yes. Hold up. You went all the way back. Everybody, he has Rock of Ages. Yes. Rock, did you... Rock of Ages. Who know the first line to Rock of Ages? Cleft for me. Till my what? Let me hide myself. I even messed it up myself. But you know, Rock of Ages. Now you know, oh, how I love Jesus. You got a mighty fortress. Yes. Blessed assurance. Yes. My faith has found. Yes. Amazing grace. You, you put that, you have the Latin jazz feel. Yes. With amazing grace. Of course, you have his eyes on the sparrow. When we all get to heaven, yes, yes. and it is well with my soul. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, over the years, now, you, you, you said that, you know what, you were always a person that was behind the scenes. How does it feel now that God is pulling you or drawing you to come forward? How does that feel? How does that make you feel? It's an awesome response. You know, I asked the Lord, why now? And his answer to me was, because I can trust you now. Wow. So there were some things that, that needed to be filtered out before he can trust me in the public. And it's a humbling experience to go before the masses. And uh, I'm honored. I'm honored. Wow. Wow. And that, that right there is something. God can trust you now. That's a question that we, I think, you know, there's a lot of people up and coming, and they might be saying, God, when is my time? When is it going to be my time? When is it going to be my turn? Do I have next? You know, I've even had flyers, saw flyers that say, I got next. It's my turn. It's my season. But with your turn and your season, I believe, just like that response God gave you, is can God trust you? Can God trust you when somebody's applause, uh, giving you some accolades? Are you going to give him back the glory, or are you going to steal it for yourself? You know, can God trust you with, with, with this huge platform? Can God trust you? In that's, I think that's, that should be the first question we should ask ourselves before, before we ask, when is it my turn? God, do you trust me now? I love it, I love it, I love it. So now, where can people purchase this wonderful, wonderful project? When can, where can we purchase this? This project is available in every digital store, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, all of the digital stores, it's available. Wow, I love it. Listen, everybody, I tell you, you are in for a treat. This is our seventh year. Seventh year we're celebrating. And you, we're going to hear some hymns that will glorify him by Mr. Gene, Rod.